Craig, uh, valuable point at Conway, a 2-2 draw. Down to 10 men, your views on today's afternoon? Um, exactly what you just said, it's a massive point. Um, given the circumstances, really, with it on being sent off um, halfway through the first half, uh, harshly. Um, you know, he's been a judge to have pulled the lad down. They didn't even claim call for it, so um, extremely disappointing with that. So he's going to be missing, um, and he's a, obviously a vital part of the team. But as I said, to, to show the desire, the hunger, um, the determination to get themselves back in the game second half was, was a very positive thing. But I've just said in there now, at the end of the day, what we should have started like that, with that urgency and a bit more intensity to our play. Um, so we'll learn from it and we'll make sure that we put it right going forward. But as I said, um, possibly two points dropped, but a valuable point gained. That's a valuable point. So do we two on now with about ten minutes to go, a, a great goal at the end to get us back to two two. A good game after last week's performance as well. A difficult game today. Yeah, it was always gonna be difficult. You know, Conway are a good side. Um Warren's got them playing some good football, they're, they're honest lads, they work extremely hard. Um and they made it difficult for us today and, and but I did feel hard done by when we went down one nil, um went behind rather and um I felt that we we started the game quite well, we moved the ball well and we created opportunities, particularly second half, we created a lot of opportunities with 10 men. Um, I thought John Owen was exceptional and led the line um, fantastically at times during that second half and he possibly could have gone and scored a couple more. Um, but credit to the lads, as I said, they've shown a great determination, desire, hunger to get themselves back in the game and, and, and eventually get the point. Fred Carr did change the game. We had a chance before then, and credit to, to the eleven on the pitch and the subs and twelve who came on. It, they worked tirelessly up front and at the back as well. They did, and, and that's you know that's the bare minimum that you ask from the lads. You ask for them to 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 work extremely hard when the game's in balls in play, and and that, as I said, is is the basics really. Building. Blocks for next week and pen and bonds. Yeah, definitely. You know, we can sort of take our our eyes off the league now um, with that point today and, and three last week. So it's four points from two tough away games. Mm -hmm. um, so we're extremely pleased with that, obviously. So we can, as I said, take the pressure off us now. Go down to pen and bond, bon, pen and bond next weekend and give it a real good go with um, no pressure on us. You know, I don't think anyone will expect us to go there and get a result. So. The pressure's all on them, really, being the home side, being the Welsh Prem, and where we are in our league at the bottom half. As I said, we won't be given much chance, but we'll go there with lots of confidence. We'll prepare right on Tuesday in training, and, and the lads will look forward to it. Any trips to the green, green grass of home at Ballatown for the game of Penabant or on the plastic? <laughs> no, no, we're, um, I mean, the lads are used to playing on plastic, to be honest. We trained there all last year in Mice Tegid. Um, they played obviously Candidno and, and places like that on the 3G so it'll, it'll suit us I think because we like to get the ball down and play um, and uh, it'll be a good game next week hopefully from a windy Morva de Chorkrieg